we are burning this from both sides. See it has burned now almost 80% and I am just waiting to finish this last part then we will start cutting our vegetables, onion, tomato. Now for the end part you can use this and you can burn it but you have to burn it properly from all end. Uh, I think now it's almost ready to cook now. Let it cool down and then remove the upper screen. Because once you remove the upper skin only, then it will be ready to cook. Now my bangan is ready. I have actually burned it properly directly on the flame and after that I have removed its uh, upper skin. My garlic and ginger, chili and lots of onion and some tomatoes. Put some oil in kadhai and then I am going to put this jeera. Oh, my oil is ready now. So I can put all my jeera into it. After that I have added ginger, garlic and chilies and onion. So I am just waiting my masala to be ready. After that I will put uh, tomatoes and then I will go for bangan. I have kept some tomatoes like this in oil which I will just take out in few minutes which I will add in the end just to give the nice color and flavor. Guys I have added salt according to my taste you add according to your taste. In my home my mom used to burn this bangan in tandoor but here in Chennai I don't have so that's why I have used my gas. You can take your tomatoes out, out once it will look like this. Concept of bharta is that uh, that burn smell should come only then your bharta will taste like the original one. I have added some fresh tomatoes and let them cook for another 5 to 10 minutes. Guys, I don't use uh, red chilies instead of that. I have using I have used that uh, green chili in the beginning itself because it's good for health and it will help you to reduce some weight as well. Now my masala is ready so I am going to add this uh, this dhania powder, coriander powder. By the way that's how it will become little bit brownish instead of red. But it will give you nice flavor at the end. I have added some butter also, it's also good, it's up to taste, uh, I like it very much, if you like it put it, if you don't like it you, it's your choice actually. Now I am going to add this bharta, make sure it will look like this before you add this into your masala. Mix it properly and break into small small pieces. Now I am going to close this and let it cook for another 5-10 minutes. And I have already seen my gas. As I have learned from my mom that key to any special dish is patience. If you cook your food in same gas it will give you more taste. Now it's almost ready. I have just little bit burned it. You can see that black black spots in between my bangan ka bharta. So that to just get the burnt taste. Now I am adding little bit of garam masala into it according to taste. Now my bharta is ready. I am just taking it out. Now you can garnish it 
with those tomatoes which we have kept aside in the beginning itself and a little bit of coriander and I'm sure this will look awesome once you eat this please let me know what you think about this dish and credit goes to my mom and if you are happy with what I have given you in this recipe please just share your food with someone who cannot afford to have his like two or three meals thank you very much my name is Virain Kashyap.